running the numbers on a seven unit apartment building in Cleveland. David from California, this is your video. Let's dive in. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. It's gonna keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me and then after you close, Holden Wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. All right, David, what's going on, my man? Thank you for purchasing an analysis. I think you are gonna gain a lot of information today. And uh, <clears throat> I think you're gonna make a lot of money. I think this is probably the best money you've ever spent in real estate. Uh, so let's get into this, man. Uh, you have been presented a building. Uh, this is for sale by owner. So you are a California resident. You're not brand new to real estate investing. You own rental properties in California where you live. You also own some in Texas and you own some in Kansas City. However, and this is key, this is probably the most important thing uh, that we are gonna go over uh, in today's analysis. This is your first investment in the Cleveland market, so you don't have much knowledge on Cleveland itself, right? This is your first ever foray, foray into Cleveland. And uh, per your email to me specifically, you said you have literally zero contacts in the Cleveland market. So this deal off market, not represented by uh, brokers or anything like that. I'm, I'm not a broker involved in this transaction. Uh, up until right now, my only involvement with this transaction is providing you this analysis. The property, 12911 Brackland Avenue, Cleveland, Ohio, 44108. This thing is offered at $195,000. This is the LoopNet listing that you had emailed to me. It's being advertised at a 13.13% cap rate. We got seven units in this thing, two-story building, okay? Uh, going into some more details further, this is a, a PDF uh, memorandum that the seller had provided to you. The building itself does not look like it's in terrible shape. I actually backtracking here. A uh, couple highlights, right? <clears throat> they said it's uh, all brick. brick. Brick's nice. They said they did the tuck pointing, recently renovated. New roof in 2018 and new vinyl windows on all the units, glass block in the basement. So going into their memorandum here, see what they had to say about it. <clears throat> this solid two-story brick building is an excellent investment opportunity at the asking price of $195,000. Stabilized seven units apartment with more than $25,000 net income, 13.31%. NOI on actuals. Owner renovated and filled six of the seven units. That's 85% occupancy. In the past year with mostly subsidized tenants offering stable and predictable income. I, I agree there. If you're going to go into a high-risk neighborhood, uh, you have to go with the Section 8 government subsidized tenants. Uh, more on that a little bit later, specifically my thoughts on this neighborhood. But the, the, the higher the risk level, the more important it is for you to avoid cash paying tenants. Uh, so six of the units are two beds, um, and one of those is a studio in the basement. Well, that right there, that studio in the basement, I'm going to go ahead and guess, just from uh, sitting here at my desk, um, that that studio is probably an illegal unit. Uh, this is a well over 100-year-old building. I think it was, or about 100 years old. I think it was built in 1920, I think I saw. Let me go back. Da, 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 da. Yes, year built 1920. It's 2019 right now. So this is a 99 year old building. These buildings were not, uh, first of all, we have pretty high water table here in Cleveland. So like a lot of these uh, older buildings, you know, they, they get wet, they get damp in the basement. Uh, this building was never built with the intention to have any ground space, uh, gr you know, below ground apartments. That space was uh, just meant to house the mechanicals and the utilities. So for all intents and purposes, you got yourself a six unit apartment building with just some like random illegal unit that's really got no value. Uh, and going back here to your rent roll, cause they provided you a rent roll. Uh, 
They do have it rented, though. They have it rented at 300 Okay, I was wondering if that was going to be the one that was vacant, but it's not. They did rent it at 300 but that, that could be an issue. I would imagine your tenant um, may eventually reach out to you because they're, they're having mold issues. You really should not finish spaces down there. Like, there is no scenario where that's not getting wet, in my opinion. Um, so you don't want to put drywall down there. So let's just move forward with the idea that that $300 in rent is temporary, and I think eventually you have to tear all that out. Uh, I just want to go through the photos with you. This unit, it does look pretty nice. Um, you know, they did a decent reno. Okay looking floors, you know, neutral colors, nothing like uh, outlandish. I mean, the renovations they did are fine for, uh, you know, a low income building like this. A uh, little dated kitchen, but for this neighborhood, it's not a big deal, really. Uh, you got coin operated laundry. Just so you know, coin operated laundry, neighborhood like this, man, these things uh, get broken into all the time. I have buildings in better neighborhoods uh, that they get broken into. Um, so people will come down here and they'll just break these things, take all your coins. Uh, so bear that in mind. Location like this, that's going to be a huge risk for you. You got your furnaces. Um, and then here is your map. This shows you exactly where the property is. And that is, is honestly the, the biggest thing uh, with this investment. This is why... I think that the money you paid me to do this analysis was the best money you could have ever spent. Uh, I hate this deal for you, man. I hate this deal. $195,000 for a six-unit apartment building. Well, technically, I guess they're saying this is a seven-unit, but in all actuality, it's really a six-unit. Uh, and I hate this deal. Uh, the, the numbers look good, right? They got 545, 750, 785, 510, 650, 300. So they're bringing in 35 40 a month with one vacancy okay and then one two three four of these tenants they are subsidized subsidized right so like section eight tenants all that is great and you sent me a bunch of information uh, that they sent you like water sewer bills you're doing your due diligence and you also uh, drew yourself up like a cash flow analysis chart um, and typically when I do these investments, uh, analysis for people I break everything down I give you guys an estimate of like your repairs your vacancy this or that we're not gonna do that in this video because it's it's like pie in the sky um, on a property like this like this property is literally located in the one of the worst neighborhoods in Cleveland. Like this is just uh, a horrendous neighborhood, okay? So I cannot feasibly estimate for you what your vacancy and all that stuff is actually gonna be because the quality of tenants in, in these neighborhoods, it's very low. You see a high, high vacancy. You get a lot of investors uh, who lose out. Uh, just incredible blight. So for you, I think this deal is James Wise denied uh, before even like crunching the numbers because I don't even know how we would really crunch the numbers. Uh, deals like this, now you're not a new uh, a newbie investor. You got properties in three states, California, Texas, Kansas City. Uh, but if you want to come to Cleveland Market and you want this to be your new a new market for you, this is not the property to start with. You've already told me you have literally no contacts, okay? Finding someone to handle the management on this property for you is going to be an insane task. Like Holton Wise, we would never manage this property. Uh, just because of the neighborhood, it's, it's so high risk. Something I want to show you because you're, you're new to investing in Cleveland. You go to my website, holtonwise.com. You go to the Tools and Resource tab right here. You click on the Ultimate Guide to Grading Cleveland Neighborhoods. I've graded every neighborhood in Cleveland on an A to F scale. And I'm not saying you should invest in A neighborhoods and you shouldn't invest in F neighborhoods. I just use that as a way to, uh, to you know, show people risk because you see price points and the rents. Like the numbers, they look good. And if we run these under like normal metrics, like normally it's going to cost roughly 50% uh, of the gross rents to operate one of these properties, okay? It's called the 50% rule. So right now they're bringing in 35 40 And if you just add it in, let's just say another Let's call it 650 bucks to that. 650 plus 35, 40. That gives you a total gross rent, 41.90. Times that by 12, gross rent, 50,280 for the year. 
divide that in half because you're going to spend about half of your money operating the property. It's an NOI of 25140 Divide that by your acquisition cost. I put this at a 12.89 cap. They're advertising it to you as a 13.3 cap. So just like my quick and dirty cocktail napkin math, I come incredibly close to what they're presenting to you. Um, but I don't want to dive deep into that because I don't think you're going to make uh, that money, man. I can't, <laughs> I can't, I, I don't know if you'll reason, if you can reasonably expect uh, to, to operate this under normal circumstances because the neighborhood is just so blighted. So more on that, right? Back to my ultimate guide. So everything on an A uh, to F scale. So like up top here, you got all the A neighborhoods. This is like where the wealthy folks live. This is all owner occupied. You're you're not really, you know, leaving the California market to come to the Cleveland market to invest in stuff like that. Like, you know, I live in a neighbor, an A-class neighborhood. You know, you're looking at price points like similar to what you see in California, right? You know, five, six, seven hundred thousand dollar houses, like minimum two hundred thousand dollar houses, stuff like that, right? You're not coming all the way to the Cleveland market to invest in four hundred thousand dollar single families. No, you're looking for you know stuff like this, a seven unit apartment building for two hundred grand. So then you got your B neighborhoods. C neighborhoods. I think B and C are where investors like you should be playing. B and C, right? You come to Cleveland, you need third-party management. You don't have your own team on the ground that you've like hired from the ground up and built yourself. You got to go third-party management. You're just diversifying. You want good cash flow, but you want some stability. You got to go B, C neighborhoods. Um, maybe even a little D. But then down here, we got F neighborhoods, okay? 44108. There's your neighborhood right here. 44108. Freaking horrible neighborhood, man. The median household income of this neighborhood is only twenty thousand dollars, and that that means there's like uh, an average of like two point uh, like two point five people uh, per house, right? So like it's like two adults, one kid essentially, half kid really, but uh, you get what I'm saying. More or less, the average adult in this neighborhood only makes about ten thousand dollars a year. So total poverty uh, stricken neighborhood. Um, pretty much like one of the worst neighborhoods in Cleveland you could invest in. Now, <clears throat> I ran comps for you too to help illustrate the type of neighborhood you'd be considering deploying $200,000 in. And here's another thing. Uh, per the memorandum, they bought this, okay, and then they renovated it, and they're trying to sell it to you. So I'm guesstimating that you're not planning on using a uh, commercial lender for this. I'm assuming you're just going to deploy all cash because there's no historical record uh, of you know income coming into this property because the story is they just bought it. Their business model is to turn around distressed assets, stabilize them, and then sell them to you. So you're stuck paying cash, but stabilized is kind of a funny term for this neighborhood because this neighborhood is anything but unstabilized. Now... This is an urban neighborhood with a high population. Whenever you run comps for properties in an urban neighborhood, so like if you're like buying agricultural, you know, rural areas, the, the, the terms are going to be a little bit different. But in a highly populated area, the best comps to get an understanding of the neighborhood, we go quarter mile over the last six months, and you should get an understanding of that neighborhood. This particular neighborhood, quarter mile from this property, is so blighted that there wasn't enough data for me to actually present to you. So I had to go out 1,825 days, okay? Normally I do six months, 180 days. For this, I did five years to show you how blighted this neighborhood is and how infrequently transactions are taking place. Based in Indianapolis, Indiana, FS Houses is the premier investment property brokerage with an in-house property management department that can take care of all those unwanted landlord headaches. FS Houses can offer you the complete turnkey solution as well as wholesale properties offered to you at a discounted rate. With a network of thousands of active investors, wholesalers, and brokers, FS Houses can help you sell your property for top dollar on the open market or in a hurry to motivated investors seeking distressed real estate. Visit fshouses.com or call 317-492-9025 for more information on the Indianapolis, Indiana real estate. Holton Wise has a worldwide audience of real estate investors. If you are a lender, 
home inspector, or anyone else with a real estate related business who would like to increase your sales and exposure with an ad in one of our videos, go to HoltonWise.com today. So in the last five years, in a quarter mile radius from the property that you're considering deploying $200,000 into, only two single family homes have sold. 13014 Arlington, that sold in July of 2017 for $10,000. Okay, and then the other one that sold, that one sold in 2018, that sold for 29900 So in the last five years, so essentially from 2014 to 2019, we've had two single family homes in this neighborhood. We should literally have hundreds of homes that have sold in that time period. I mean, if you look at that data, that means that this year, 2019, in the first five months of 2019, not one single family home has sold in this neighborhood. One sold in 2018, one sold in 2017. In 2016, not one house sold. 2015, not one house sold. 2014, not one house sold. That is some compelling data. Now, I pulled up the uh, multifamilies. So that's two to four units, okay? Now we do have a little bit more data, not enough data to do the normal um, six month comp. So I did five years again, just so I can give you this full five year picture of the neighborhood you're considering moving your money into. 13 sold in the last five years. So like what, 2.1, 2.2 uh, multifamilies a year. And the price points, we got one, $7,000. Another one, 9,000. 9,900, 10,000, 10,924, 16,000, 16,000, 16, 5, 17, 18. Uh, we're getting up a little bit, 23, 5, 25,000, 33,750. That just shows you the extreme blight. I mean, how many properties, like the majority of these properties are selling for under $10,000. That's total blight. And then, since yours a commercial deal, like six unit apartment buildings, we got a pretty decent stock of that kind of stuff here in the Cleveland market. I ran commercial, any apartment building, anything bigger than four units, not one has sold on the MLS within a quarter mile of this 12911 Brackland Ave in the last five years. So in the last 1,825 days, not one commercial property has sold. So this right here, should be enough information to, to show you the type of neighborhood you're dealing with. Now, you already own property in California, Texas, Kansas City, so I'm not going to dwell on like the risks of buying a super high-risk investment. I'm not going to do that. You're obviously a sophisticated investor. I'm sure you know what comes along with that. I just wanted to make sure that I showed you the information on Cleveland um, and specifically what you're getting because you know, you've already mentioned to me, you, you've invested before, but you've never invested in Cleveland. You don't have contacts in Cleveland. So I want to make sure you get the accurate picture of this uh, neighborhood, right? Because, you know, you're from California. You don't know anything about the Cleveland market. So when you're coming into the Cleveland market, you need to know the risk level. So this is, you know, that's why I created this ultimate guide. Again, I've graded this as an F-class neighborhood. You know, anywhere in Cleveland you're investing, uh, this is basically the worst of the worst. And the numbers, you know, they prove that. So single family comps, multifamily comps, no comps uh, for the commercial properties. Even uh, going back to, here we go, right? Here's where your property is. This is kind of funny. Uh, see this right here? Eddy Road, okay? See how close Eddy Road is to your uh, property? This video was me, yours truly, uh, selling some property. Uh, on Eddie Road, actually, just take a look at what I had to say. This is about a year and a half ago. Okay, that's right. I said two duplexes for under ten thousand dollars. How is that even possible? Well, there's a few things you have to understand. These properties are in rough shape. Okay, they're going to need rehab. Number two, the most important factor here is the neighborhood. Both of them are on the east side of Cleveland. The first one, 1003 Eddy Road. The second one, 3175 East 119th. Eddy Road, both units are three beds and one bath. 
3175 East 119th, both suites are two beds and one bath. Now, as we talk about these investments, it's incredibly important that we talk about grading properties. As we delve into these two properties and we talk about this investment, I really want to go through some things with you. These properties can be awesome investments for some of you, but they can be terrible investments for others. Yeah, that's right. I'm over here making a video telling most of my viewers not to buy these properties. So that's me a year and a half ago, and those are properties that I was actually tasked to sell. And I'm, I'm singing the same song, man. You know, I went on, I'll put the, uh, the full video. Uh, it's called uh, Ghetto Real Estate in Cleveland, Ohio. Good idea, two duplexes under 10K, 1003 Eddie, 3175 East 119th. I'll put the link to that full video in the show notes below so you can take a look at that. But like it, it could work for like local guys. You know, the, the ideal property in a neighborhood like this is a local guy who is only here in Cleveland and they're doing a lot of the work themselves. They're able to watch this thing like a hawk day in, day out. A guy like you who's got to get all new third party teams, it's just not going to work. Like me, Holt Weiss, we run a huge portfolio. We run a $50 million portfolio out here in Cleveland. We do everything top to bottom, and we wouldn't take on this account. We would not manage this for you. And more or less, the majority of the other big firms in the Cleveland area, there's you know myself and a couple others, uh, pretty much every one of us is going to pass on a property that's this blighted, this bad of an area. Uh, so you're left with... Um, you know, the, the low-hanging fruit, I guess, the folks that have no other choice uh, than to take these projects on. So I think you're going to end up running into bad property managers because only bad property managers are going to stomach dealing with these bad tenants, which are obviously going to happen in a neighborhood like this. So I just think you're going to run into a, a, a ton of issues. And if you actually look at the, the history of the property, uh, it would prove that. I went to the auditor site to see what was going on with this property. Um, just to, you know, do a little bit more research for you. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, let's just go back freaking 30 years, man. Um, 1988, January 1988, somebody bought this property for $36,000. It was only worth $36,000 in 1988. You're, you know, everybody's aware you can't build a huge brick apartment building for anywhere near $36,000, right? Cost more than triple that to build the thing, right? So back 30 years ago, this thing had a, you know, an incredibly low value. The value of the building way less than the actual replacement cost. That was 30 years ago. Somebody owned it for 10 years, okay? And then they sold it to someone else 10 years later for 48000 So in that 10-year period, they were only able to get the price up to 48000 Still way less uh, than what it, was you know, what it would actually cost to build the thing. So then you go to 2006, the person who bought it for $12,000 more than the last guy, uh, they lost it, right? They, they ran it for eight years and then they lost it to foreclosure. So it got foreclosed on. So then 2007, that's when the daisy chain started, man. This is just like a bunch of probably wholesalers uh, just flipping a daisy chain property. So 2007, Real estate, the height of real estate, right? 2007, that was like the bubble, right? That's the beginning of the bubble, okay? 2007, this thing is bought at foreclosure for 2,500. We're talking about a, I call it a six unit apartment building because I don't count that seven unit, but whatever you want to call it, six or seven unit apartment building sells for 2,500. That's all the value we have here. That was uh, February 2007, February 7th, two days later. So it looks like we got a wholesaler action. They flipped it to somebody else. They flipped the contract, most likely. Uh, did a did a, a double close. Two days later, they recorded it for six thousand nine hundred. So they pick it up at auction, twenty five hundred. They flip it. They can only flip it to somebody else for six thousand nine hundred. Two months later, those guys flipped it again to another group for eleven thousand nine hundred. So three transactions: twenty five hundred, sixty nine hundred. 11,900 and that was in 2007 quiet nothing happens till 2015 now all of a sudden 2015 it's pretty expensive they sold it to someone for 75 March of 2018 it's now 95,350 transfers again they transferred it to someone else they flipped it around to someone else 
for a hundred and sixteen thousand and then that person sold it to the person who's trying to sell it to you uh, for seventy five thousand so the value went down and then if you were to purchase it you would be the big sucker on the line here right the big sucker you would be the ultimate prize picking it up at one hundred ninety five thousand G'day everyone, it's Angela Ramora here, your favorite Australian and the founder and owner of Ohio Cashflow. Over the last five years, Ohio Cashflow has established itself as the most reputable turnkey real estate investment company in the country. We offer solid B-class properties in Toledo, Ohio. We work and live in the same areas that we sell in. So when we sell your property, your tenants become our neighbors. We only take on a handful of investors every month so for your chance to work with one of the best in the business, please fill out our investor application form, which you can find in the video notes below. Thanks for listening. And as we say down under, I'll catch you later, mate. Is that it? Yeah, we're done. All right, cool. Make sure you're subscribed to our investor mailing list. We are going to send you an email with the latest investment properties for sale every single day at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can expect a full video offering, just like what you've seen today, in every one of these emails. So I don't wanna see you uh, being that big sucker. I don't think that this is worth it. I don't think there's any way that you're gonna make an average of 13.13% return uh, based on their numbers. Just quick, dirty numbers, I, you know, what you would normally expect in a Cleveland market, having PMs run it for you uh, under normal metrics in a normal neighborhood like a C or a B-class neighborhood. Uh, with the 50% rule, we came to around like a 12 cap, 12 and a half cap. I don't, I don't anticipate that because, again, you're just going to run into issues, high vacancy. I think you're going to have a hell of a time having property managers uh, manage this for you. I think you're, you might... You know, you might end up being the guy whose only choice is to hire like illegal property management people off of Craigslist, and that pretty much never works out for anybody. That's why over the last 30 years, this building shows a very, very poor history, uh, and nobody's purchasing it for anywhere near what you're purchasing it for. Um, so this deal, again, James Wise denied, Dave. I don't want to see you do this deal. If you decide Cleveland is for you, I want to see you stick to the B and C class neighborhoods. So again, man, go to my website, tools and resources, click on the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods, okay? And then, you know, check out your C and your B class neighborhoods. I think that's where you could make some serious money. Um, in, in like a C class neighborhood, we have like, they're not, they don't pop up all the time, but like you can pick up a six unit apartment building pretty close to this price point. So you can pick up a six unit apartment building in a, in a neighborhood which is gonna have way different data. Like I'm talking neighborhoods where if we went back five years, we're not gonna find two single families that sold. We're gonna find hundreds of them who've sold for considerably more. Um, like you could pick up, you know, six unit apartment buildings for between like probably two and a quarter to 250. And you'll actually be able to make the advertised returns. This one though, not going to happen. This is just a totally blighted area. And this seller, in my opinion, was looking for a sucker who didn't know better on the Cleveland neighborhood. But that person ain't going to be you, Dave, because you made the right choice and you spent the money on due diligence. And uh, I'm very pleased to say I believe I saved you about $200,000 because an investment like this, as you've seen from the history of this investment, can go down to almost zero. $2,500 sales price, $6,900 sales price, 11000 something price, you know, sales price on this property. So definitely James Wise denied, Dave. Check out the B and C class neighborhoods if you haven't done so yet, man. In the show notes, uh, I have a daily email list. I am the number one seller of rentals in Cleveland. I send out investment properties every day with full videos, video tours, video analysis subscribe to that so you get those delivered to your inbox every day at 1 p.m eastern standard time make sure you smash the subscribe button here on our youtube channel holton wise tv 
We're bringing you guys deals, investment analysis, making sure that you don't make mistakes. You can buy properties directly from me, or if you're just fielding deals like you did here, you got a for sale by owner who you went under contract on and you made your contract contingent on this analysis. Now I'm assuming after you've reviewed this, you're gonna exit that contract, which you have every legal right to do. If someone else offers you another property that you think might work, just go on over to my website. Again, uh, this is for everyone else who's watching this now who maybe hasn't purchased one of these. You just click on the property search. Uh, this, by the way, that's where you subscribe to that mailing list and you go down here. I offer a whole slew of analysis products like this. This particular one is the entry level product. I do everything from my desktop, but we have more uh, intense and extensive products. I will actually send my film crew into the properties to tour them for you if you like. Uh, I will compare multiple properties. You can give me your criteria. If what I'm sending out to you every day isn't working for you or you're just not able to, to get your deals accepted because I'm the number one seller of rental properties in this market. Whenever I send a property out, whenever we launch a property on Holton Wines TV, I typically have 15, 20 offers on the first day, right? That email comes out one o'clock. By five o'clock, I've, I've got 20 something people that all wanna buy it. So, you know, at least, you know, if I got 20 offers, 20 guys trying to buy it, that means 19 of you couldn't buy it. So if you guys are looking for more, uh, I'll go out there, I'll, I'll search the MLS for you. You give me your criteria and I'll find properties for you and I'll do an analysis like this. So all that stuff, it's all right here. And then one more thing, uh, you could click this tab right here and uh, you'll see all the analysis that I've done for other clients. So Dave, I'm sending, I sent this to you. You're watching this right now in a private link. No one else can see this. It's just you and me, buddy. Um, but after you decide you no longer want to be in the deal, I do release these publicly so investors can research the market. They can understand what's going on out here in Cleveland. Uh, when there's not a chance that uh, it could screw up your deal. If after watching this, you decided that you still wanted to move forward with this purchase, which again, man, I don't recommend you do, but if for whatever reason you wanted to do that, I would keep this link private until you actually closed on the sale, at which point I'd release it publicly. Uh, so for you, Dave, um, you should probably check out all my other analysis so you can get a grasp on the Cleveland market, you know, just really educate yourself and then just start watching my content that I'm gonna send to you every day. And if you wanna buy one of those properties, shoot me an email. Uh, or if you wanna move on and you wanna buy something else and you want me to analyze it because someone else presented you another opportunity, let's do the same thing here. If you want me to represent you after I do the analysis, I will. We offer brokerage services, buyer agency. Uh, if not, if you just want to pay me for the analysis and then you want to go directly to the seller to save some money off the purchase price, because, you know, when I operate as your buyer's agent, I want 3% uh, of the deal, unless it's like a $20,000 deal, in which case I'd want a flat fee, you know. I'm not doing a deal uh, for like 500 bucks, guys. I'm going to need, you know, at least 2500 on the buy side um, for it to be worth it for me to do a deal. So if you're trying to save that money by going directly to your seller, just grab your analysis from me, do it on your own. Uh, or if you want me in your corner, I will do that. But someone's got to pay me that money, whether you convince the seller to do it or you do it, it's up to you guys. Just so you know, though, if you have the opportunity to do a deal and then now you've tacked on a $2,500 cost for that seller, maybe that means your purchase price is $2,500 more than it could have been. Uh, but that's up to you guys. Either way, I'm willing to give you guys my unbiased opinion with no strings attached and have you guys as investors figure out how you want to handle that. It's everything I've got for you today, Dave. I hope you found this helpful. I'm pretty sure you did because I like to think I just saved you almost $200,000. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. price i mean this is actually a really nice house a little bit more rough a little more ragged gonna keep those values high here's quarter mile comps there's two hundred sixty thousand dollars houses right down the street you'll be able to put your offer through me and then after you close holton wise we can handle the property management we'll even be able to help you with the insurance we have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states this deal is 100 percent james wise approved james wise denied
Cleveland, Ohio is widely considered to be one of the top rental markets in the entire United States. This is because here in Cleveland, our housing prices are low and our rental prices and demand are high. At Holton Wise, we provide the complete turnkey solution for all real estate investors, whether they are local, out of state, or even abroad. As real estate brokers, we will provide you with agent representation to help you buy properties ranging from single family homes to large apartment complexes. We even have referrals for lenders who can provide investment property loans to investors located in all 50 states, allowing you to capitalize on the use of leverage or other people's money. We have referrals to top-notch title companies so you know that all of your transactions are safe and secure, with every single property being delivered to you with clear title. Once you close on the property, we have an investor-focused insurance brokerage who can handle all your property insurance needs. This insurance brokerage handles auto, home, life, and business policies, but they specialize in working with policies for landlords. We also have full service property management. We can handle all rental property advertisements, tenant placement, rent collection, evictions, maintenance, landscaping, construction, and repairs. In addition, Holton Wise also offers digital media and education. One day, when you are ready to sell your investment, Holton Wise, as the number one seller of investment properties in the greater Cleveland area, can market your property in a video, just like this one, to our worldwide base of investors who are looking to capitalize on the high cash flow opportunities in the Cleveland, Ohio market. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.